The Five Political and Geopolitical News of December 14, 2022 The long-awaited arrival of American Patriot Defense Systems, a transfer of $115 million from Canada to repair Kiev's electricity grid, a de-Sovietization law passed by the Lithuanian Parliament, the arrest of Russian military spies in the United States, and the killing of an Iranian football player, discover what makes the world vibrate today. The U.S. government is about to finalize a plan to get the Patriot systems to Ukraine. This sophisticated air defense system is requested by Kiev to shoot down Russian drones and missiles. The Ukrainian authorities are confident in the country's ability to prevent further power and heating cuts, with Patriot batteries. The first batteries are to arrive in Ukraine as early as next Thursday. Canadian Finance Minister Christian Freeland announced that Canada would transfer $115 million to repair Kiev's electricity grid. This money was mainly harvested from customs revenue collected on Russian and Belarusian imports. Ms. Freeland told the Ukrainian People's Conference in Paris that Putin and his cronies are war criminals, and they are trying to use the cold as a weapon to break the spirit of the remarkable Ukrainian people. The Lithuanian parliament has approved a so-called de-Sovietization law. This law will prohibit the promotion of totalitarian or authoritarian regimes in public places. It is planned, under this new law, that the old monuments dating from the Soviet era will be removed. The ban will be on monuments, but also on all kinds of commemoration or representation of symbols or people linked to totalitarian regimes. The United States Department of Justice announced that five Russian citizens and two American citizens had been accused of trying to obtain military technologies from American companies for the Russian military sector. The Department of Justice called these individuals and their group a global money laundering and sourcing network on behalf of the government of Russia. Three of the seven individuals have been arrested and risk several years in prison. Demonstrations by tireless Iranian men and women continue to be talked about in the country as a new wave of public executions is organized by the government. One of the national soccer team players, Amir Nasser Azadani, was sentenced to death by the country's authoritarian regime for campaigning and supporting women's rights in Iran. According to the Mizan agency, the player will be hanged in public, like the wrestler Reza Ranavar. Don't forget to share and subscribe.